The Temple of Castor and Pollux is an ancient temple in the Roman Forum, Rome, central Italy. It was originally built in gratitude for victory at the Battle of Lake Regulus. Castor and Pollux were the Dioscuri, the twins, a Gemini, the twin sons of Zeus and Leda. Their cult came to Rome from Greece via Magna Graecia and the Greek culture of southern Italy. Founding the last king of Rome, Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, and his allies, the Latins, waged war on the infant Roman Republic. Before the battle, the Roman dictator Aulus Postumius Albus Regilenesis vowed to build a temple to the Dioscuri if the Republic were victorious. According to legend Castor and Pollux appeared on the battlefield as two able horsemen in aid of the Republic, and after the battle had been won they, again appeared on the Forum in Rome watering their horses at the spring of Juturna thereby announcing the victory. The temple stands on the supposed spot of their appearance. One of Postumius' sons was elected to Umver in order to dedicate the temple on 15 July 484 BC. History In Republican times the temple served as a meeting place for the Roman Senate, and from the middle of the 2nd century BC the front of the podium served as a speaker's platform. During the imperial period the temple housed the office for weights and measures, and was a depository for the state treasury. Gaius Verus again restored the second temple in 73 BC. In 14 BC a fire that ravaged major parts of the forum destroyed the temple, and Tiberius, the son of Augustus by a previous marriage of Livia and the eventual heir to the throne, rebuilt it. Tiberius a temple was dedicated in a 6 AD. The remains visible today are from the temple of Tiberius, except the podium, which is from the time of Metellus. According to Edward Gibbon, the temple of Castor served as a secret meeting place for the Roman Senate. He said the Senate was roused to rebellion against Emperor Maximinus Thrax and in favor of future Emperor Gordian I at the Temple of Castor in 237 AD. The temple was probably already falling apart in the 4th century, when a wall in front of the Lachis Jutani was erected from reused material. Nothing is known of its subsequent history, except that in the 15th century, only three columns of its original structure were still standing. The street running by the building was called Via Trium Columnarum. In 1760, the conservatory, finding the columns in a state of imminent collapse, erected scaffolding for effecting repairs. Both Pyrenees and the young English architect George Dance the Younger were able to climb up and make accurate measurements. Dance had a model cast from the finest example of the Corinthian order perhaps in the whole world, as he reported to his father. Today the podium survives without the facing, as do the three columns and a piece of the entablature, one of the most famous features in the forum. Architecture The octostyle temple was peripteral, with eight Corinthian columns at the short sides and eleven on the long sides. There was a single cellar paved with mosaics. The podium measures 32 meters times 49.5 meters and 7 meters in height. The building was constructed in Opus Caimentisium and originally covered with slabs of tuff which were later removed. According to ancient sources, the temple had a single central stairway to access the podium, but excavations have identified two side stairs. Archaeology the temple complex was excavated and studied between 1983 and 1989 by a joint archaeological mission of the Nordic Academies in Rome, led by Inge Nielsen and B. Polsen. Gallery. 1866 Depiction of the Forum Romanum. Another view of the three columns of the Temple of Castor and Pollux. The Temple of Castor and Pollux with the Temple of Vesta to the left. 